important to remember that at the heart of this, there is a family that is grieving. Now, today, actually, um, Nelson Mandela's eldest daughter, Maka Ziwe, has been speaking, and she's been speaking to my colleague, Kamla Dumour. We try to explain to him that, you know, um, people are outside the hospital singing, uh, putting cars and flowers. Mm -hmm. I do believe he heard, you know, because even this last week, I don't know what we were saying with the doctors, and because, uh, you know, he, he hardly opened his eyes, I think, he, this month. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know what somebody was saying to me, and I said, well, I believe he still hears me, you know, when I speak to him, because I would every day say to him, you know, even if he had all of us, you know, chips, either kiss here or kiss the cheek and say, you know, because for infection total, every day for the, I don't know, past how many months, I would say, I love you, Dada. I'm coming to see you tomorrow, you know. Uh, and then maybe he would open his eyes for just a second and close those eyes. So for me, I think that uh, until the last moment had us, you know. And, um, you know, the children were there, the grandchildren were there, you know, uh, Grasa was there. So we are always around him. And even at the last moment, we were sitting with him uh, on Thursday, the whole day. Well, there you go. Uh, Nelson Mandela's eldest uh, daughter speaking then. And as I was saying, she was speaking to Kamala Duma, who joins me now. So he had his whole family mm -hmm. around him uh, mm -hmm. when he passed. Yeah, th that's right, George. I mean, the question that I asked her was, did he know? how much he was loved by everyone and she spoke extensively about that and, and I think for, for most uh, fathers out there the relationship between father and daughter is sometimes one of the most difficult and she's publicly admitted that she's had a difficult relationship with her father who was married to uh, his first wife is, is her mother Evelyn Massey but she talked about this she talked about the spirit of forgiveness uh, they had a difficult relationship in the beginning but in the years that he was ill that she was involved in his care he was forgiving, she was forgiving, they moved on, and she knew that in his final moments that he knew that he was loved, not just by the family, but by people around the world. What's interesting about this, Comrade, is the fact that, in a sense, he, 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 he had a bigger family than the family that was with him at his death. He had a whole nation. And, and you know, it's one of the issues that she raised, because I asked her if, if there were times when she wished they could just mourn alone, that instead of being Madiba or Mr. Mandela, it was just daddy. And she said she longed for those moments. There were times that she would look at him and she would just wish that they could take a walk in the park together or she could just come and talk to him privately as you know, father and daughter. But those things never really happened uh, until he was uh, advanced in years and, 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 and eventually uh, passed away. But uh, again, I, I think what was extraordinary is as I was interviewing her, her, her husband, Mr. Mandela's son-in-law was there. And, and again, the purpose was to get a more intimate view of of what was happening in that family relationship. And his son-in-law, uh, Isaac Amwa, told me that, you know what, uh, being the son-in-law of a man like Nelson Mandela is difficult. And he had the penchant for interfering, if you like, in the upbringing of children because he wanted to rebuild that relationship. But he still admitted that he was an extraordinary, extraordinary man with a great sense of humor. They had an excellent relationship. But above all, what I've taken away from this experience of speaking to the Mandela family is that the old man knew that they loved him, and he knew that the world cared, and he went home peacefully. All right, Kamala, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much.